All right, I'm reviewing Payday 2 for the PC, PS3, and the Xbox 360. Now, this started off Payday the Heist as a PlayStation and PC game that was $20, download only. But now it's hit the retail market on a disc and they're charging retail $40 for it. Is it worth $40? Did they make a big enough leap or should it just remain the download for the cheap cheap? Well, let me tell you, there's a lot more happening in this game than ever before. They made plenty of modifications. The guns are super customizable. So are the masks. You keep unlocking different masks. There are tons of different combinations you can color. It really makes you stand out from the other players. But the main thing that really is great this time is what each individual player can bring to the table. There's all types of modifications you can make. A bunch of little add-ons. You want to bring C4 to the party to help people break into an area easier. You can do that. Or if you're going to be better at lock picking, you can modify and hone your skills in a certain field. If you want to be great at stealth, you want to be great at attacking. Each person really has a role in this game. And if you don't do your role properly, your team will not succeed. And that's what I like about this game. The gameplay is tight. They shuffle the enemies around. They'll shuffle the structures, sometimes safes might be moved over a little bit, that will keep you on your toes. You don't know what you're getting into every time, so you definitely have to be on your A game. You really have to strategize and you really have to use your brain. You can't just run in there guns blazing always. You have to use your mind. And that's what I like about this. Now keep in mind, the graphics, they could still be a lot better they do not look that good but for the most part the graphics still leave a lot to be desired but it's also not sixty dollars it's a lot lighter on your wallet so I'm not as upset about it the gunplay feels right the dialogue is good the police are ferocious in this game they will bob and weave and dodge your attacks swerve they have specialty police officers you know ones that guys that'll tase you there's snipers with lasers, there's all types of things that happen. The police really want to lock you up. And this game does a good job of conveying that fact. You really feel like it's going down at all times. I have played the same levels over and over again just to try to get in and out as fast as I can, grab the jewelry, smash everything up. There is so much strategy going on. There's so The replay value is so high for this game. I would have liked a mode where people could play as police officers and try to stop the criminals from getting away, but I always forget about that fact when I'm just playing the game and having so much fun. This is a truly fun game, and at the end of the day, that's what games are all about. We're supposed to have fun. If you're playing single player, you really have to do everything by yourself. The AI is just stupid. Do not buy this game if you just play offline. But if you have an online connection, I recommend this game. If you love graphics though, I don't recommend this game. But if you love smooth gameplay, you love just a test of brain power and firepower, and just a sense of style that this game brings, play it. It's a crime game. You get down the trenches, and when you get away with all that money, all that work you put in, it truly feels good because you earned it. You earned that cash. And Payday 2 earns a full mother. I need you to I need list. Motherfuckers. I need you to I need out of five.